The Nave Andromeda is now in Southampton and the seven Nigerian men in police custody. The decision to launch the Special Forces Rescue Mission was taken mid-afternoon on Sunday. A few hours later, it was all over. Ship secured, crew safe, stairways detained. The whole operation took under 10 minutes from start to finish. I can't really comment on the operational details. What I can say is that uh, I think both the police and the uh, armed forces did a fantastic job, and I, I thank them very, very much for what they did to uh, keep our shores safe. The Nave Andromeda was carrying 22 crew members and was en route from Lagos in Nigeria and due to dock near Southampton at 10.30 on Sunday morning. But then at about 9am, the captain made a mayday call saying that stairways on board had turned violent. Hampshire police were alerted at 10.04. But tracking images showed the vessel started to steer an erratic course over the next few hours. The SBS operation to end the standoff began just after 7pm, once darkness had settled and as the weather was just starting to turn bad. Four military helicopters, thought to include two Merlin Mark IVs, a Wildcat and a Chinook, took 40 personnel to the scene from the SBS's base in Poole. 16 commandos fast roped onto the deck and snipers on board the helicopters gave cover. A nearby Royal Navy frigate, HMS Richmond, was put on standby in the English Channel and Royal Navy divers were on hand in case the ship had been mined. The Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace, gave the operation the green light and he was kept updated on a secure line from his home. Shortly before 8pm in the evening, news of the operation started to leak out on the Isle of Wight. And then at 8.16pm, the Ministry of Defence confirmed that British Armed Forces had retaken the ship. The tanker was finally sailed into Southampton late on Sunday night after a dramatic few hours. The SBS know the waters around the Isle of Wight like the backs of their hands. Footage on YouTube shows commandos boarding a cross-channel ferry in 2017 on a training exercise. It is not uncommon to see them exercising around the Solent in the English Channel, practising assaults on cargo ships, tankers and cruise liners. It sounds uh, actually a, sh uh, a short time, but it's actually quite a long time um, for, an op for an operation like that because, you know, you've got your approaches, you've got to coordinate your approaches, then you've got to exit your vehicles, be it boat or helicopter, then you've got to touch down onto the actual vessel or climb the vessel, and then you've got to make your respective uh, objectives. Um, and on a, on a superstructure like that, it, you know, there's several floors, and so there's quite a lot of area to cover. The seven Nigerians are now being questioned by police and after an unusually public operation, the SBS have gone back into the shadows. Job done. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, Southampton.